Welcome to the episode of the Broom Experience, and what we're doing today is, well, let's let, let's let's retract here a little bit. 2024 has been a really good year for bourbon, really good year. Uh, and we're really enjoying a lot of the bourbon so far that have been coming out. And so what we wanted to do was do an early release of, hey, what's our favorite bourbon so far that we've had? Now, some of them are not like, you know, the new, you know, on the cutting edge stuff, but some of them are, uh, but some of them are new to us. And so we're just, we're saying, hey, here's my favorite five and favorite three uh, with uh, bourbons of, of 2024 that we have had this year. The first time that we have had them. So anyways, so yeah. that's where we're going to go. And since dad's doing three, we're doing five because uh, we just can't make up our mind because there's so many dogs. Because dog they in. miscommunicated with me in the, yeah, in the yeah. beginning. Wrong, yeah. sir. Wrong. We would tell you what we're sipping on right now, but it's actually going to be... I might do four. Yippee. Uh, what we're sipping on is actually going to be on our list, which we'll probably we should probably save that for the last round, probably maybe. Wind tanks for nothing. There you go, excellent. So we're saving that for the very end because it is a special one. This is a yep. this is a special special. Oh yeah, bourbon. You've bourbon. already seen it before on the channel. You and pick your first one. Let's let's right. go with that. Here we go. You guys saw it on the live. Sagamore Spirit Double Oaked Rye. This is just taking their base stuff and putting it on a whole other level. Mm. It is a rye that is almost across the board appealing to anybody who wants to, you know, dip their toe in it. Or even if they're not a rye mm. fan, it is just amazing. Has a wonderful graham cracker finish to it. This might be really competitive to um, the Jack Daniels rye. That that might be an interesting uh, uh, video in the future. Yeah, yeah, that would. I, um, yeah, we got to do that. Yes, have some. All right. So my first one uh, is this is the uh, 1792. It's the bottle and the bond, but this was also a a, a barrel pick, uh, a, a from down in Atlanta, Georgia, or not Atlanta. It's Fusion Fusion Hold on. Yeah. Well, it's just a, it's a, it's a, state, a single. It's a it's, it's a single barrel. It's a store pick. It's a pick. Yeah, it's a store pick. And uh, it's fusions, fine wines, and spirits. Uh, so uh, Alex actually went down. He was driving through Georgia, found it, and so we picked it up. And uh, that one is lemon with all this other little you know with caramel and all. It, it's just it is 1792 bottled and bond on crack is what it is yeah. it's really good it was really close to making my five yeah oh so it, so this this is an honorable mention in your five yeah yeah, yeah to me that that and, and if you notice i've been still i've been kind of poking at it i need to let that one let it let it ride a little bit yeah you've had it i, I yeah, loved you, it you loved it yeah yeah you did actually but yes, it's have some it's a very smooth uh it, and, and if you are a fan of 1792 uh, the bottle and bond here in Ohio is, uh, we can't find the bottle and bond ever. And then, so getting the store pick itself was kind of, kind of pretty rare for us. Um, but, um, you know, that's, that's one that I'm still trying to find. I'd like to find the bottle and bond and then compare the two. Mm -hmm. But, um, so anyways, yeah, that's, that's my, that would be my first, my first go is, is that one. Okay. Well, dad, what's your first one? Okay. All right. Uh, this is, uh, old Bardstown, uh, bottled and bond. Now. You won't find this on the shelves. The only place you can get it is if you go to uh, uh, Willet. Willet Distillery, yeah. and and they have it. They sell it out of their shop, and they they always have a bunch, but they don't they don't distribute it at all. Yeah. It's good bottle and bond, and mm -hmm. one of the high points, twenty dollars. Yeah, and 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 for. To be very honest with you, for the it, you know, it's not. This is something that I I would probably buy because of the va the cost of it, but it's not something that I'm going to go like I'll jump after. Yeah. But it's a it's a for excellent. twenty for twenty bucks you get a bottle and bond for twenty bucks. Yeah, yeah. It's a it, it's a it's a and good it's, sip. And oh. It's got a good taste. I mean, yeah. It, it, oh it, yeah. It's an excellent taste. When when they in their tour, they include this as one of their featured items. So. Uh, uh, they th they think very highly of it. The bottle and bond tour. You have to do the bottle and bond tour. That's what we did when we were down. Oh, there. oh, well, yeah. okay. I didn't know it was. Yeah. Uh, specific. Okay. Anyway, so they yeah. but they did they 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 like it. They do a good job of it. Yep. And it's worthwhile. Yep. 
Okay. All right. And, so there and it's not pot still, so it's much better. Oh, come on. Oh. Come on. Boo. What, what, what's your second? Uh, second. All right. Whiskey so, or bourbon? Um, you guys all know that we are a big fan of High Banked. Mm -hmm. They're High Banked Double Oaked. Uh, Josh got his hands on this honey blend that they that they make. It is sublime stuff. Uh, it is. There's no honey finish at all no. in the process, but you do get that kind of honey element to it in there. It makes it real silky smooth. It is such a good. Yeah. blend I, I am I'm just a big fan of high bank they just yeah they, they, they do, do a good, good job. job they do well and I just I just got their cast strength uh, as a gift and I'm I mean that's yeah that, that you know anything anything from high bank is a winner as far as I'm concerned and this one you, you know you can't get it anymore uh, because they 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 don't make that it. was a special yeah. Uh, release at that time, but you can still go get their double oaked and yeah. and and be really happy, or their double double oaked yeah. um, and be really happy. This, so. this is in, in 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 a sense a, a store pick within their own distillery. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. They were so it is, and so that would also that's also going to be one of my top my top uh, five for already. I mean, we're in we're in you know May. I'm sorry, we're in we're in June. And yeah. and we're halfway through the year, and we're already running into some really good bourbons, and and these, this is this is excellent. So you are he's doing five now, ladies and gentlemen. It's we're, you know curveballs here. We're trying to hang out and you know keep up with them, but it's it, 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 this is a full time job. It's like taking we went down to Glens Creek. Uh, well, we did a Kentucky run uh, a month ago or so. About a month ago. And uh, our our one of our targets was Glens Creek, and we got uh, some Hamilton Dark. Now this is, it's not a bourbon, it's its a... Uh, I mean, it's probably more of a, just a spirit. Uh, you can probably label it more of a whiskey or... A whiskey, I would say. But it's probably more a along the spirit. Um, uh, they, but they uh, they call, they say it's a dis, dis spirit, distilled spirits specialty. This one happens to be 105. I'm not sure what the one I've got at home is, but... About the same. About the same. Um, and it, it has a very unique taste. I, from grain to cane, so he does use grains. Yeah, but cane. <coughs> cane yeah, so, there, he's, so he's using sugar. Yep. So, so I, I, I think this is more of just a distilled spirit, like yeah. what it says on the front yeah. there. But it is, well, no, it is delicious. Actually, that is my number three right there. Oh, really? Yeah. So okay. Just segue. Yeah. Um, it is, if you like some rum funk, that's that a is. great bottle yeah. to get. It yeah. is so wonderful. Uh, but it's, it's, it's so different than rum, though. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not like having right. having straight rum, and that's what's really nice about it. So yeah. different about it. It's almost more like a bourbon with some rum in there. You know, it, it has that yeah. that that flavor, which right. I, I, and I, I think I, that's I, the sugar aspect David's, of it, right? Yeah. Which I think David's done a really he nice job. He, he has. Job. He has he, he's masterful at what he does, yeah. and it, yes. it's it, it is a lot of fun to sip on and ponder. What's left to ponder? Woo! Oh. Okay, so that's your that's your number three. Then. Yeah, that would be my okay. number three. And that's your number. That's your number two. No, my uh, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, yes, that's your two. Right. So yeah. two. Nathan's three. Uh, so we'll stay we'll stay with the same distillery. Um, and OCD number five. This is not one of the. the the, he, they also have a honey one, and then they also have a special, you know, barrel select that they. So this is not that, um, although probably going to work on doing that next year once once he does that again because I've heard the one that's honey is absolutely out of this world. Mm -hmm. uh, but this one uh, alone, uh, the OCD number five is is a, is a excellent excellent whiskey or bourbon, um, and uh, it's it is it sits at um, 102 proof. <laughs> that is my third. So your th uh, your third. Oh, uh, this is double double. Uh, it's also uh, our from from, our, high, from high bank from high for our buddies from high bank. Double double is, I think, it, this is my own personal opinion. I think it beats any other double double on the market, at least the ones that I've tasted. How many have you had? There, how many double doubles have you had? Well, I've had all the ones that we've done. <laughs> That one. <laughs> well, well, which one? Well, the one. Yeah, I've had one. That one. I only had one double double O. 
Oh, yeah, that that I was. He's saying. talked about Woodford double double, that, that, yeah. Yeah. but talking doesn't mean experience. Yeah, that, I've had the Woodford uh, double had, oaked, and I've had the I've had several doubles. Yeah, that was, but, but that's but a this, double double. But this beats a double, okay? Which by two, fair enough. But uh, <laughs> it doubles. It. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> what like like? Anyway, like it's 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 an excellent whiskey. It's a little. Uh, this one happens to be 116. One, thank you, 116, and so it's a little higher. And and, the, and, and I that surprised the heck out of these guys when I liked it so much. Yeah. Because it's it's high proof, but it's at, it's a just a delightful uh, you, you, bourbon. You, any, with, anytime you get a double double oak, you guys know this. Anytime you get a double double oak, you're gonna. You, you're gonna get a lot of the, the, those oak tans that kind of come through, um, and so obviously you like an oak tannin. That's really what comes out of it. Yeah. Um, and it's it, it is a very smooth bourbon, uh, or I'm sorry, whiskey. It is a whiskey. Yeah, you're right. Um, um, it it is a very for. smooth one, um, but uh, you're definitely gonna get those flavors out of there. And, and it's I mean that sucker is dark. I yeah. mean that's a dark you know yeah. whiskey, but yeah, um, and it is. It, you're right. It is good, but it is also it ain't cheap. That's that's a, true. That that's might be. The most expensive one so far on this table. Uh, I think so. It yeah, is. It could be. Right. That was like what ninety five. I think it was ninety five. Yeah, I think you're right. So that it, it's it's not a walk in the park. Does, yeah. does, this is not a rank. This is not, this is not a rank for us. These are just what we like because right now I can't really rank. Those. Although there's, I think a clear unanimous favorite. Ooh, boy, that's a tough one. That's a that's well, still tough. Uh, but you're right. Okay, so that was your. That was your third, so now your fourth. All right. So my fourth barrel seagrass. Yeah. Uh, man, I'll tell you. So, so this is my second rye on this list. It is. It is a barn burner of a rye. These guys blend so wonderfully. Um, you know, they are they are more of a pricier. Uh, option out there but if you like to sit down and kind of think about what you're drinking and analyze it and all that stuff this rye just this has it in spades <clears throat> it is so smooth so delicious despite its uh 120 proof what what those guys at barrel have done is just absolutely it's rock star it's, level. it's it's mixology in a sense you mm -hmm. know they're 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 doing a lot of Taking different barrels and mixing them up, yeah. and coming up with a good blend. Well, and how the, how you how they do that and is just yeah, it's, it's beyond me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So then my number four is going to go along the same lines, and we're going to go with barrel uh, again. But this is the um, the cast finish of uh, their their cast finish series again, the Tale of Two Islands. And uh, so this one is pretty unique. This is their bourbon, but um, again they. This is what's really cool. They've got a uh, Indi they got Indiana uh, a, a blend from Indiana from five, six, nine years, and then a Maryland five and si five and six years. Their mash bill is seventy three percent corn, twenty three. Wow, it's a high rye. Seventy three percent. Seventy three percent corn, twenty three percent rye, and then four percent malted barley. Yeah. Um, but um, <clears throat> again, this one what they, what they do is that they brought. Um, they, well, they, they have they have a secondary processing of using oh. casks, rum casks, yeah. and then also uh, Eilid and Scotch Eilid. casks. Correct. Which gives you that that almost peat. Which I'm not a peat person. I I don't really particularly care for that. No. But you get a small hint of it that really blends in really well with it. That adds some nice depth to the to the the drink. So it's it's really nice. Yeah. Um, and I'm not a peat person. That was that's probably my favorite from. From uh, from barrel, yeah, it's it, it, it's really good. And I don't know if it's some of these barrels are in the the Eilid casks and some are in the rum, or if they all get blended together and they yeah. go into that. I wonder the next. I don't or, I don't know. Again, the, the, what these guys do behind the scenes with their stuff, mm. it, it just boggles the mind, and they produce excellent stuff. Yeah, the the Willet uh, pot still pot still is. Uh, it's it's an excellent bourbon. It uh, I forget the proof. It's, and we don't care what anyone else says. We like it. That's that. Period. It's good. Stop it. Yeah. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed it. 
I, ha I, I have I, I enjoyed it so much in, in the last tasting that we did we did a special tasting which you may remember where Nathan changed the color of his beard and uh, uh, and it and, looked and, like and Captain Caveman yeah he did look like Captain Caveman Caveman Josh changed his uh, his last name and uh, and so forth yeah so so Robert and John were able to fill in and we did one of the tip one of the no the, Josh and I were there we were there obviously in spirit um, imitation is the best form of flattery that's what that's, I have to say. That, that's what we say I, we, I we've call always, it jealousy <laughs> <laughs> so so one of the the bourbons we tasted was the well at, um, uh, Pot still. Pot still, so, thank yeah. you. I don't know why I forget it. it Again, the, the, what's nice about the Willow Pot still is, is it, the, it's a lot different. So if you're looking for your typical bourbon flavors, you're probably, this is going to be a lot different. You're going to get a lot of you know, flowery, a light vanilla at the very beginning. Yep. It's, it's a very different experience. And to be very honest with you, uh, that's why I like it. That's, it, you know, I, I, it's, it's outside. And again, this what we're looking at here is the first time we've had that is this year. So really, the only two that are really brand new to this year are these two, right? Maybe this, maybe the uh, Sagamore Double Rye no. or Double. Uh, okay, we, so we didn't have the, this one last year. I'm just talking about releases. Everyone else could have had oh, these. Oh, really? So, okay. but That's no fine. one could have gotten this one or Everybody. the Honey, or actually, they could have gotten that last year. Because I think that was that was still I don't last year's. Believe it, the it double was. double was on last year's. Yes, list. it was. So it was. Yeah, it was. Okay. It was. So, anyways, but what we're just saying is, these are our favorite for this year. Um, but our fifth one is pretty much going to be the same one for us across the board, and it's the only one you can get this year. Would have been the would have been the the bland. So this one looks better. Yeah, the bland. This one looks better because it's been it's properly, been consumed. Consumed. properly consumed. Is <laughs> this is the Blanton's uh, uh, release for the Derby, uh, and that's what we're sipping on right now. This is absolutely a phenomenal bourbon, and when we when Dad and I got in line for it, there we were we were kind of like, okay, we're gonna get a Blanton's, and then we didn't, and we were like, oh, we we got Derby Blanton's, and we, we didn't know, uh, no and. I would assume that this is like a uh, a store pick in a sense, but the, I, would, it, I think you're, that's a good comparison. But it it destroys Blanton's gold. Yeah. To me, it absolutely destroys Blanton's gold, and, and we like Blanton's gold. We love regular old Blanton's. Forget about it. Blanton, regular old Blanton's doesn't hold. You know, the nose is so so smooth. There's this nice, sweet, salty caramel that I get out of there. I don't get the salty caramel. I get, oh, you don't? I get, no, I, I get I get just that fruity cookie. Yeah, it, it's I get the I get the fruit, the dried the, fruit on, on top of the classic Blanton's aromas already. Yeah. So, we know it's a bit early, but we thought, hey, let's do our top five for so far for 2024. You can go across and get any one of these and be really satisfied with the price ranges go from 20 bucks to 100 bucks. Uh, so you can find something in the middle there, but some of these you can't find anymore. You, uh, this is probably gonna be extremely hard to find. Uh, the honey you can't find anymore. I doubt you'll find uh, yeah. the plants, but but and what, then you've got what, locals, the locals and, and that, that you've got to shop for. And, 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 but we, we touched on this during the live, don't sleep on your local distilleries because yeah. some of them are producing some phenomenal stuff yeah. that will enhance your experience. Yeah, but we, these are the picks that we've had. Uh, we've had a couple ones that were really close. You know, uh, Penelope Architect, I think for us was a really close one. That, yeah. that that's not new this year, but that's something that we just got our hands on. The the uh, right there, yep, that one. Yep. That's an ex excellent one. Wow. There we go. But, that, that's, but, but you're not allowed to have that. That you've had five. That would be six. I'm just making it look better. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we like Willet. Forget about what he thinks. Willet is is, yeah, is it's a, okay. Yeah. It's not. It's not. It's nothing yeah. special. So hey, thanks a lot for tuning in. We appreciate it. Have a good one. It's for all bourbon. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. See you later.